Hey YouTubers, it's Crystal. Um, first off, I just wanted to thank everyone for watching and commenting on um, my last video about the nursery. I really appreciate you guys' support. It made me feel extra good that so many of you guys liked the thing that we were going for. And as soon as I get um, everything together for the nursery, I'll do a video, but that won't be for That'll be a, a while down the road because I don't plan on buying the bedding or, um, well, probably just the bedding and some other stuff until later. So, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching what I had now. Today I make 19 weeks. Yay! I'm officially, I believe I'm officially at the halfway point. My baby is the size of a mango. I think it's, do they say six inches long? and five pounds, something like that. If they said it's the size of a mango or a small cantaloupe, either way, the baby's growing. Yesterday, um, as many of you guys know, I did get to go to the doctor. Everything was good. I didn't get an ultrasound done, but they did let me listen to the heartbeat, and the heartbeat was good, so that was great. And what else? Oh, I wanted to show you guys a couple of baby buys that I've got. Um, so you guys know, like, I have no experience with um, with babies, pretty much. And um, when I had originally started buying baby stuff, I was buying a whole bunch of like, I don't know, baby outfits. And my mom was like, Crystal, you're gonna need onesies. Like when a baby, when you have a newborn, they're pretty much gonna be living in a onesie. You're not really gonna be taking them to any places, so you really need to stock up on onesies. So I said, okay. So I went to this place called um, Sweet Repeats. And it's a, um, I guess, a secondhand store for baby stuff. And they don't just have clothes. They have cribs. They have a lot of other things. But I was just interested to see what kind of clothes they had. And these are the things that I picked up. Um, I got this onesie. It says alligator. Uh, this one. It's a little turtle. It's so cute. I love that one. Oh, what is it about me and turtles and frogs? I love turtles and frogs. This one, I love elephants too. Little elephant onesie. Um, and all, none of these clothes have any stains. I mean, they're all like mint condition clothes. I mean, I was like, how could I pass up on these? And all of these onesies were only 99 cents each. And I got this one. And this one I actually saw, was it at Babies or Us that I saw this one at? This one and the next one, and I forgot how much was a Babies R Us, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. And then I went to the Sweet Repeat store, and I was like, whoa, they only have them for 99 cents each. There's no way I could, like, pass up on this stuff. Now, I know you guys, some of y'all might be thinking, oh my gosh, she, like, buys her, clo her son's clothes secondhand. Well, listen, you guys, most of my clothes, I shop at the Goodwill. I don't buy anything at normal price. Whatever I buy is on sale. I cannot, honestly, I cannot tell you the last time I bought a shirt, shoes, jeans. The only thing I probably will buy at regular price is jewelry, but anything else I always buy on sale. And like I said, I shop at secondhand stores. I shop at Plato's Closet, which is um, where, you know, you can sell your clothes and buy other people's clothes. It's like a, you know, a secondhand store. And I also shop at, um, where's, what's the other one called? It's a secondhand store also. They're not as popular as Plato's Closet. I can't, I don't know, I can't think of the name on my head. But like I said, I'll go to Goodwill. I'll go wherever I can. I'm a big yard sale junkie. I went, I drove around on Friday morning because I was off just looking for yard sales. Like I drove around all around my neighborhood, all around the neighborhoods around me, going to yard sales looking for stuff because I'm a yard sale addict. I got that from my mom and my sisters are too. Anyways, here's another one. See? This one I think is my favorite with the elephants. And I got this one, the giraffe. So those are those. are those. And then I got these onesies also. So each of those were 99 cents. And I think I'm gonna go by there today to see what else they have. I think, I forgot, I forgot what days they restock on, but I need to go back. And I also bought this set from there. And it says little buddy. I mean, this stuff is like, this is brand new, okay, come on. It's still on the hangers. It actually still has the Ross tag on it. And this set right here was only 
four, it was four ninety nine. So pretty much ninety nine cents each for this set. And then I bought this set, and I don't know. I don't know why. I really, after I bought this one, I was like, "Why did I buy that one?" But it's it's not it's not bad. It's it's cute too. But this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this set was also four ninety nine. So for all of these onesies, I paid twenty bucks. Now listen, you guys. You guys know I did some baby buys before when I went shopping, and I think I only bought three outfits. And it was like 30 something dollars, if not $40. All of these right here were only $20 from Sweet Repeats. I mean, these clothes, I mean, they're practically brand new. I'm like, well, people's babies wearing these? I mean, there are no stains. They're, they're not faded. They're not wrinkled. I was just so happy that I decided to stop in there. <clears throat> let my dog in really quick. Oh, before I let my dog in, let me give you guys a belly shot because I don't think I've done a... A belly shot. I have my some maternity pants on or knickers that my um, friend got me. But here's the belly. Oh my god, it looks so much bigger. It looks so much bigger when I'm looking at it on screen. Oh my god. But I am 19 weeks, and there is my belly. Oh my god. I look like I'm like nine months pregnant, <laughs> as big as my belly is. Let me see if I can get closer. Wait, you guys, come on, I hope I don't hurt myself on the stool, but that's the belly. And when I went to the doctor yesterday, <laughs> the medical student who was um, doing my baby's heartbeat, he, uh, he was like, oh, what's that from? I'm like, yeah, that was back in my wild days when I got my belly button pierced. <laughs> he was like, oh, oh, no, 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 I was just asking because some people, I don't know, he was saying some kind of surgery where they stick it through your belly. I don't I don't know what he was talking about, but I was like, nah, that's just for my belly ring. I had my belly ring. I got it when I was 17. Then I went to join the Air Force. So in basic training, I had to take it out. So the whole clothes. So as soon as I was done with basic training, while I was in tech school, I got it redone again. So I've had it pierced twice. And I guess you do holes or just Anyways, this isn't about my belly piercing. But as you can see, so far, so good. I don't have any stretch marks. I mean, I, like I told you guys, I have some, like, yuck. I have some down there, but that has nothing to do with the baby. That was from when I was, like, 100 pounds and gained 30 pounds in a year. Um, but so far on my stomach, I don't have any stretch marks. So I'm hoping it'll stay that way. And if it doesn't, oh, well, really care less. But there's my baby bumblebee. Okay. So let me go let the dog in. Give her some water really quick so I know she's thirsty. <clears throat> her daddy usually gives her filtered water, but I don't know if we have any more dog filtered water. Anyways, so <clears throat> that's that's oh let me tell you guys about how I'm feeling. Lord have mercy. I know everybody's like, oh, your second trimester is going to be so smooth. You know, it's going to be heaven. You'll feel great. Your energy is going to be up there. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on. It's like a trimester. My first trimester was great. So I'm like, well, shoot. The first, tri first trimester is this good. Then I know for sure the next trimester is going to be even better. And I was so wrong. I am like, first of all, you guys, I've gained, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, but when I went to the doctor yesterday and they weighed me, I weighed 164 pounds. And I'm not embarrassed because I've weighed 164 pounds. I'm embarrassed because that means I've gained 24 pounds in four months. And according to my baby app, it says that during pregnancies, the, they would on, they would like the moms to only gain 20 pounds. And hello, I've hit 24, and I'm only halfway there. So that's why I was embarrassed. I kept saying, are you sure that's right? Is your scale right? Are you sure? I cannot believe I gained 24 pounds in four months. Ouch. So, yeah, I've gained a ton of weight, and the weight is really starting to affect me. My feet, I had to email my boss yesterday, my principal yesterday, and ask her, hey, is it okay if I can wear tennis shoes, you know, some 
because my feet, you guys, my feet are so swollen. It's just, they ache. When I get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom or even just walk around the house, I feel like I'm walking on pins and needles. They, my feet just hurt so bad and they're so swollen. Um, so that's something that popped up in the second trimester. Another thing is um, cramps. Like whenever I sit to use the restroom, it can be just for a second. As soon as I stand up, my legs, I have like the worst leg cramps. I mean, it's like, I'm almost like in tears. I'm like, oh, my legs. I mean, they hurt so bad. And today when I was looking at my baby app, they said, oh, have you been feeling those leg cramps yet? And I'm like, oh my God. So nobody told me this was during the second trimester, but yes, the leg cramps for me, they're a serious thing in the feet. So I think my feet are swelling because I have so much weight on me so fast that my feet's not used to all the pressure being on it. So I'm assuming that's why my feet are hurting me so bad or could have something to do with my blood pressure. That's why they're swelling. I'm not sure. I talked to my doctor about it yesterday and she said we're going to keep an eye on my feet and how that goes. And I'm exhausted. You guys, I don't want, I don't want to do anything anymore. I just want to lay in the bed. I just don't want to do anything anymore. I'm tired. I'm physically, I'm I'm drained. I'm just, I'm just really tired and it's, I don't get any sleep at night because my dog sleeps in a room with us. She does not sleep in our bed, but she sleeps in a room with us and she farts and her farts are just, they're unbearable. I just, I love her to death, but her farts can kill a grown man. I mean, and my nose is so sensitive. I'll be dead asleep and I'll wake up like, what's that? And then next thing I'll hear her go again. But I'm like, oh my God, please, no. And all night I have to deal with my dog farting in the room. And then my husband, he's a restless sleeper. So he'll toss and turn and he'll scratch and he'll talk. And I'm not even a heavy sleeper, but I like when I'm asleep, I like to just, I don't like to be waking up by, a, you know, a stinky smell or somebody next to me, like shaking in bed from tossing and turning. And I'm like... I'm tired during the day. I'm already tired at night. And we have another bedroom that I can sleep in, but I really want to lay next to my husband. I don't want to be in a separate room from, from him. So I just try and just bite the bullet and bear it. But oh my goodness, it's just horrible. And tomorrow I get a tour of the hospital, which I'm excited about. Um, I guess that's all I really had to talk about. That ended up being a lot. I will do another video probably. It'll be a few weeks. Maybe when I turn like 23 or 24 weeks, I'm looking up, um, I, or blah, talking to my mom and my sisters about what I want to do for my baby shower, and I narrowed, or at least I think I've narrowed some places mm -hmm. down. I was going to do it at my house, but mm -mm, I don't have to deal with the buying the food, cleaning, well, I wouldn't buy the food, my mom and my sisters who are hosting with, but I don't want them to have to deal with buying the food, bringing it over here, cleaning up, setting up. It's just like such a headache. And I threw two baby showers for my friends last year and I held them for them at restaurants. So, and it was really easy. I mean, everybody pays for their own food. We don't have to clean up. You know, the silverware, the dishes are provided. We all get, we get a private room. So it's not like we're out in the open and it was really fun. So I think wherever I decide, it's either going to be in a restaurant or I'm going to rent out, um, like a hall, not a hall, um, it's probably going to be at a restaurant. There's a really nice resort that I stayed at the night before my wedding um, here in town, and it's, I mean, it's beautiful, and they have a really, really nice restaurant there, so I'm thinking, and they have a private, private dining room, so I'm thinking that's where I, I want, I'm going to have it, but we'll see. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, and I continue to pray for you guys who are TTC, and I... And who do I need to congratulate? Congratulate. I think I've congratulated everyone that I follow who is pregnant. And if I didn't congratulate you, congratulations. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a good week.